and good morning i am the ginger magician um as per request i'm just updating my video on how to install the rogue tech mod pack okay it's just going to be a really quick video we're going to keep it simple same as before simple instructions real easy to know stuff all of the stuff i'm going to be going over today is on the wiki uh just so that everyone knows tim's been working really hard on it and we're going to get it done uh it's almost perfect at the moment we also have a, a support channel on discord um all of this stuff will be linked below the channel after the video so feel free to just jump in and have a look and you can also talk to all of us on discord at any time um so without further ado i'm just going to get into the installation video and then afterwards i'm just going to go over a couple of the faqs that you guys have been asking a lot about okay um, so that is it and we are gonna carry on and like I said we were just gonna get straight in to how to install the rogue tech okay so when you install rogue tech you are going to be welcomed by this particular screen okay on this screen you are just gonna click next okay it's really really easy really really simple okay now, you want to install it in the folder that you have, okay? So that folder is gonna be the folder that contains, obviously, your Battletech. When you press next, it's gonna come straight to this screen. This is super, super simple, okay? This is just the options that you want uh, Rogue Tech to have installed. It's, it's super, super simple. It's really, really self-explanatory. Okay, so you're gonna have your Wartech uh, options. Obviously, it says it's incompatible with the vanilla campaign. It's one thing you guys need to remember. Okay, the persistent online client, okay, means you're going to be competing uh, in the online war map, okay, which obviously is explained on the wiki if you guys need a little bit more in-depth information about it. I play on that, so that's always what I have selected. Um, I don't do offline war tech. Um, it just offline war tech is basically where you you're not competing against other players for planets. So um, we I always do the Inner Sphere sandbox package because that's basically what I play and that's how road tech works for me. So you can do the vanilla campaign. Um, it's incompatible with war tech, like it says. So you can't select both of them. So you need to be very well aware of that. Um, the, the difficulty scaling it means you can either choose difficulty by company rating which is your uh the gear on your uh first five mechs or six mechs is it i forget um or you can do it by planet rating each planet has a different uh rating so it be the one to five star depending um the rogue tech experience there's uh there's only two different ones um it's normal road tech or brutal road tech. Um, you can choose which one you want. Uh, there's only two difficulty settings. Um, that's up to you how you want to play. Uh, that's a very personal choice. Um, pilot mods is, is again, it's really self-explanatory. You can either have the pilot quirks, pilot fatigue, and reduced pilot XP gain by rank. You can have them on, you can have them off. It's, again, a very personal choice. It depends what kind of experience you want to have while you're playing the game. Um, uh, quality of life options, all gear in skirmish, uh, skip intro, performance fixer. Uh, there's also shot seller retainer and uh, use mouse for, for the escape. Uh, again, all this stuff is really personal. It depends how you want to play and what kind of experience you personally want to have while you're playing rogue tech emblem options it's pretty self-explanatory i don't think i need to get into those it's just emblems um your fx options uh depends how you want them um it's uh i just have it as vanilla so i don't use any of the other ones uh, again that's but it's, it's the, all these options are really personal. So, um, and then you can choose uh, repair uh, armor after battle, or you can choose free armor repair after battle. Uh, that's personal. It depends what kind of game you want to play. If you just want to play relaxed, chilled, you don't want to be messing around. You don't want it to be like extremely tough. Then that is what you're going to do. And then you're just going to click next. Boom. Um, I would seriously recommend you patch the RTML or you first time RTML. Um, I, I patch because I've 
constantly got uh, Rogue Tech upgrade uh, updated. Um, if this is your first time installing it, do the first time RTML, please. Um, it's beneficial on many levels uh, because it could cause you a lot less problems. Um, clear previous installs all the time. Uh, I I always remove the mods folder um, and I always do the mod tech cache because it causes me a lot less problems. Um, the saves I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't mess around with that unless it's your first time. Um, but I, I never mess around with saves. I just do these two, uh, the recommended ones. Uh, it's simple, it's effective, and it's going to cause you less problems and get you playing Rogue Tech a lot sooner. So this isn't recommended for people unless they want to do a complete, like, huge, fresh install. So, And then we just click Next. Boom. And then it is going to continue, and it is going to install for us. Boom. And... It's really as simple as that. That is the simple and efficient way to get Rogue Tech installed on your PC. It's quick, it's easy, okay? Just follow the recommended settings, okay? If you don't know something, feel free to come into Discord and ask us. We're all there, we're there to help you. We have a support channel and that's what we're there for. When you do load the game, I would seriously uh, suggest at the moment uh, that you do not use contract variants above three, okay? We are, we're currently having a couple of issues with it. Um, it's nothing serious. Um, it's just the, the the sharpening stones and stuff is... It's we're, we're having a couple of issues. Don't do contract variants above three. Uh, that is from the actual developers of the mod themselves. So don't do it. It's not healthy. Okay. <laughs> um, there's a couple of other things I want to show you and I will get them up for you in just a second. So like I said, I just wanted to share a couple of other things with you. Okay. Um, some of the some of the most um, frequently asked questions we get uh, is about the 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 DHS cores and the the colored lines. Um, now, without wanting to talk to, to talk too much about this, I just thought I'd uh, quickly pull it up on the screen so that you guys can all see. Uh, you can all just pause the YouTube video right now, and um, then it's gonna. You, you can read it for yourselves. Um, it's just a quick description about how to uninstall and reinstall DHS kits and what the coloured lines mean uh, when you're playing Rogue Tech. Um, I just wanted to add this at the start, uh, well, at the end, really, of my video, um, so you can understand that when you go into the game, you are going to be experiencing a couple of new things. Um, and that's all, really. Um, I just wanted to quickly update this video, um, and I hope you all have a good day. Um, if you guys need anything, you can uh, find me on the Discord. You can find all of the devs on the Discord and a lot of other helpful people, either in hashtag RT or hashtag uh, the support channel. Uh, just uh, give us a shout. Uh, we're, we're here to help you, and uh, I hope you all have a really great day, okay? And uh, take care, and thank you very much for watching, okay? And uh, yeah, bye. Love you.